We we'll begin right here in Kenya. Security forces have been battling Al-Shabaab militants from Somalia in the coastal area of Lamu. The militants attacked a police post there and razed it to the ground. The attackers also destroyed a communications tower. There are also reports that the militants attacked a school. The area has seen multiple attacks in recent months. Authorities there have been calling for security operations in the Boni Forest. It's believed that's where the militants are operating from. Let's get you an update on that story now. I'm joined live from Mogadishu by CGTN's Abdulaziz Bilo. Abdul, what more can you tell us about the Al-Shabaab attack in Kenya's Lamu County? Well, Panina, according uh, to police accounts, uh, it seems that the militant uh, whose exact number is yet to be verified launched a brazen attack at around 5.30 a.m. in an area in uh, the coastal uh, region of Kenya known as Pandanguo. It's in uh, the Lamu region of uh, coastal uh, Kenya. Now, uh, according uh, to the militant group Al-Shabaab through its uh, media here in uh, Somalia, it's saying that uh, it uh, launched that brazen attack on a police post, uh, police post and a nearby a government building. It also adds that it uh, seized that region known as Pandanguo uh, for a brief uh, time before uh, the, the Kenyan forces, before engaging rather Kenyan forces in heavy gunfire. Now, uh, according uh, to uh, police sources, on the other hand, uh, the police uh, chief in Kenya is saying uh, that uh, uh, the police post that came under attack had 19 soldiers at that given time. 14 are unhurt, three have been confirmed dead, and one soldier has been reported uh, missing. So the Kenyan police is saying that this is an active uh, investigation, is ongoing there, that they've sent reinforcement uh, to battle the militant group who raided uh, that uh, Pandanguo region in Lamu. So the main, most of the information will be known in the given uh, in the in the coming uh, uh, hours, uh, Penina. But uh, it's a part of Al Shabaab's uh, deadly attacks that have also taken place here in Somalia. Same uh, pattern, same similar manner, raiding uh, police posts and African Union posts at around uh, uh, dawn, so that when soldiers are caught off guard. So uh, it's an active uh, investigation is ongoing. Uh, the militant uh, group. Uh, is uh, not reported, uh, has not given any reports yet, apart from the fact that they are saying that uh, they briefly controlled uh, Pandanguo. So we are waiting for official verification from police sources because it's uh, not, uh, we are not able to uh, verify uh, Al Shabaab reports, Penina. Kenyan authorities have been calling for a crackdown on Al Shabaab militants in Kenya's Boni Forest. Why has Al Shabaab been stepping up its attacks on Kenyan soil? Well, Penina, for very, very many reasons. So one of that is uh, that uh, the militant uh, group Al Shabaab is taking uh, advantage of uh, the election period in Kenya. It wants to create an environment where Kenyan politicians will uh, be able to talk about uh, the rising insecurity in uh, that uh, region, especially in uh, the coastal uh, region. And it might also disrupt election activities in um, various parts of Kenya. And as we've witnessed, it has targeted uh, officials uh, and uh, security forces in northeastern Kenya towards the regions of Garissa and uh, nearby in Mandera along uh, the border with Kenya and also on uh, the border uh, with the coastal region there as we've seen today in Lamu where they remain very active in that particular region you've mentioned, uh, Boni Forest. So Al-Shabaab will actually play uh, as a disturbance uh, force in uh, the election uh, period uh, that is due to take place in Kenya in August. And also the long uh, uncontrolled uh, porous border that the two countries share between Kenya and Somalia is also posing as a great challenge, not just for Kenyan authorities, but also for Somali authorities. That's why Al-Shabaab are using uh, their sleeper cells inside Kenya under uh, the Kenyan uh, uh, Al-Shabaab group that were trained here in Somalia to carry out such a brazen attacks such as we've witnessed there in Lamu. And also, when we talk about the coastal region, Kenya enjoys a very lucrative industry in terms of tourism, and we know Kenya is a hub a major hub. That's why the Al-Shabaab will try its level best to disrupt uh, the uh, activities towards the coastal region of Kenya where tourists uh, come down. It's one of the principal source of uh, revenue for the government of Kenya. So the Al-Shabaab uh, militant uh, group will try as much as possible to show 
that it's a powerful force by attacking areas uh, outside uh, Somalia and in Kenya. And when it, we talk about the militant group also, it raided the police post in Lamu and also did the same here earlier this month, killing uh, 10 people. So uh, it remains a big challenge, not just for Kenyan authorities, but for the new administration here in Somalia, Penina. All right. Abdulaziz Bilu live in Mogadishu. Thank you.